Well, Evidy, that's it, official. A Labour government at last, eh? Now uh, we'll keep the pink flag flying high. Eighteen years of Tory misrule. Oh, God, I never thought I'd love to see the day. The People's Party in power at last. Cheers. 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 Jamesy, did your gyro come today? No. I blame that bastard Labour government. <laughs> Not much anymore. Give them a chance. The fit's not even in the door yet. The honeymoon period is over, Rab. We want results. And there, the historic sight of the first Labour leader to win a general election since 1974. 1974, Jamesy. I was wearing flared trousers and Winfield trainers in 1974. Aye. They flared trousers and they Winfield trainers. 1974, eh? Labour won and Gash was born the same year. Oh, easy, man, easy. Oh, no! Is it okay if I take this duvet cover with me for sentimental reasons? Aye, son, on you go. Yeah, and would it be all right if I take this purse for financial reasons? <laughs> Give me that! Yeah. Thieving wee Raz. Imagine stealing half your own mother. Where did you get this? Eat your pocket. Aye, uh, well, I was just say, uh, you know, I'd known to it for safekeeping sort of style, you know. Oh, thanks, Rab, because it was lying there, unattended cellar tape to my upper thigh. <laughs> did you were there? Would that be Natalie with the van? Well, it seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Tony Blair going in one door and me going out another. It's kind of like the... The, the uh... end of an era, son. Aye. Hi for you, Mibbies. But it's the start of one for me. Here we are. Cheerio, Ma. Cheerio, son. Hey, cheerio, Ella. Cheerio, son. Ella! Me comes! Are you ready, Gash? Ready, not. Hey, Gash. Gear one for me, sonny. Have you do. Make sure you get a jab of penicillin after it. <laughs> well, here you son. And remember, I'll always be a home for you here. Hey, do you mean that? Of course I don't. Just didn't want everything to end in a bum note, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go on, bugger up. Hey, hey, historic moment. First boot up the arse under a Labour government. Good luck, son. Oh, don't worry about me, Ma. She's paid I feel sorry for. After all, I'm getting out, aren't I? Ready now! Wagons roll! Cheerio! 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 We kid ourselves on we've got free will. But we've only got the free will to do what our upbringing tells us to do. <laughs> I mean, take me. Take me. I'm a flawed character. The flaw being... I haven't got any character. But Mary, she's nothing but a battery head. And if you think that is a sexist remark, have a swatch. Two weeks without wings and look at her. There you are, Gash, son. That's it. You did <laughs> Oh, you never did like carrots, did you? Ever since you were a wee boy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, stop. Pathetic, Mary, isn't it? I mean, your first instinct is to rush in there, fling your arms in and get a big hug and say, there, there, sweetheart, it'll be all right. But your second instinct is to batter her over the head with a chip pan and kiss his tongue and cycle. There's only her and I in the house now. Hey, little get her. Would you like you Right. Run it past me again, Rab. You're worried because your wife talks too much. What else is on your mind, Rab? Too much air in the oxygen? Your beer too wet for you? We could have it wrung out. And I've got an awful problem with my feet, Rab. Every time I go for a walk, my legs can I go with them. What am I to do? You should watch your moose, Andrew. In case a wee prescription for Dr. Forhead here sends your legs moving in the opposite direction, can I go for stuck bean by your collar body? Do you catch my drift? All right, all right, just a wee bit of light-hearted banter, Nesbitt. I've told you afore, it doesn't work when we fat losers do banter. It just puts normal people's backs up. Right, go on, Rab. Your wife's got a mouth. We're all agog. Well, like, it's not just that she's talking to herself. I mean, since the boys left him, she's answering herself as well. I mean, see when we're in her pit at night, it's like having a, 
A four in a bed romp without the sex. Speaking of which... <coughs> but that you got. I'm no psychiatrist, but... No, you're no barman either. Fill up these glasses and spare us the homebrew psychology. Oh, fair do, sir. I mean, not he worked as a mental nurse. He knows everything there is to know about bams and tweedledums. Right, right. He's not a tweedledum. All right, all right. Mind the tie, right? I've got an appointment later. He's wearing his tie to an orgy. Where are they holding it? The magistrate's court. <laughs> all I'm saying is, I've seen this before. Kids leave home, mother's bereft. Creates an inner world of fantasy to try and hang on to them. It's the old story. Old story, my ass. Oh, Mary wouldn't be so stupid. Oh, no? Judge for yourself. Mary, go and put the bubbles away. Folk are giving us funny looks. I think we've wandered away from our care assistant a shopping trip or something. As I was saying, Mary, when my kids left home, I was just the same as you. I thought my life was ended. And then one day I just decided to myself, a stranger is a friend you've never met. So I got myself a hobby. Funnily enough, that's the exact same advice I was given her. <laughs> um, excuse me, but are you a... Uh... Scarlet. Aye, that's me. And that's my husband over by the bar. Oh, John Pierre! <laughs> oh, me. Same um, um, myself. <laughs> Sorry, didn't they catch your names in the magazine? Well, that's because we don't believe in formalities. Just call us 30 something couple into SM, bondage and swap. <laughs> and you are? Gobsmacked. <laughs> What's going on? Like I said, Mary, everybody needs a hobby. Are you in or out? Like I say, Ram, this could be just what Mary needs, a touch of S&M. Ah, uh, Mary doesn't like Brunel. <laughs> S&M, Rab, don't get cute. Yeah. I know my way around. I'll show the ropes. I'll bet you will. You'll have a lash to the heat body of Slumberland in no time. You are so paranoid. Can you not see what's in it for you? A chance to broaden your mind, to meet interesting people for all walks of life and shag them. <laughs> Be out your heart, Rab. Maybe. But it's Mary. Rab, Rab, great news. I've got a new hobby. Oh, you have? Uh, blowing bubbles too juvenile for you. Moving on to colouring books now, are you? No. Some a lot more adult than that. Oh, aye. What? Oh, Rab, is this no brilliant? I'm having this much fun since I woke up in the mortuary with a hangover. Don't spoil it for me. You know it does be good to get out and meet new people. New people? Half of these buggers look as if they've been dug out a peat bog by the time team. <laughs> I must thank you for the loan of the galoshes, Joy. Ah, oh, think nothing of it, Mary. And when Alistair, my husband, died shortly after the kids left home, that meant his were lying spare too. So you might say, Rab has stepped directly into my husband's shoes. Well, you might say that if you wanted to end up shitting a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> because I will tell you this, lady. That's a... That's a oh, I... No. I wish you wouldn't do that. that is, that's just hideous. What's the matter, Rab? Look, look. <laughs> oh, well, don't look, then. I can't help. Your eyes is drawn, you know. Come here, Sue. There a man, watch him. Oh, dear God, that's what's... Keep on there, a bag of bruised fruit. Well, not just... There's no man here. I heard you get their hair coming out of here from what he has, these bloody nap. Please do it for me, Rob. Your turn on the map, Mary. You enjoying yourself? Oh, I'm doing my best, Joy. Well, there's plenty more where this came from. Have you told your husband about our next wee treat? Oh, uh, eh. Well... What, what, what wee treat? What bloody well wee treat? Ah! <laughs> I was keeping it as a surprise. <laughs> well, son, I hope you're very happy here. 
thanks very much. I mean, I'm not happy here. I'm as miserable as sin here. This house is nothing but a pit of misery and despair. A coffin with windows where I... Feather! Anyway, enjoy. Cocoa Pops! Cocoa Pops! <laughs> when you look at Tweety under that doobie colour, what do you like, eh? He's like an inbreed, that's what he's like. <laughs> Righty, what have I told you about that kind of talk? We don't use expressions like that in this house. I've always been perfectly frank and honest about who Tweety's parents were. Cocoa Pops! Cocoa Pops! If he says that one more time, I'll kill him. Easy, da. Your Cocoa Pops are here. So, who are his parents then? Son, the angels brung him. Aye, via the raper ban, I reckon. Tweety, pack that in. He'll get used to his wee ways. No, you'll know. Sexy boy! see a magic trick. Aye, can you disappear? <laughs> You're determined to spoil this for me, aren't you? Wait, I just don't belong here. I'm the only one here that I can get blue hair and underwear that squeaks. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Mary? Is your husband feeling left out? Oh, oh no. The truth be told, he's actually a wee bit of an introvert. Oh. He's very shy in company. Hold your half of your throat. all those who hate the jet. Come on, now, don't be dying. Hi, are you? Hi, the Jerry's and all. The Jerry bloody hat it. <laughs> well, I give a quick nostalgic tribute to euthanasia. I'll see you again when the plumber rods the drain. And I chop you into bits and I keep the tits. Your heart was broken too and your head was down the loo. But your teeth were in a glass. Beside your eyes! Where's the man? Is it another song you want the way you'll get you? That's men for you, Mary. They always let you down. Give me a swing! Fly right, all right! Mary Doll! Nick came and pawned my suit for the bail money! You're wearing your suit! No for long. Excuse me, women. Excuse me. You just stop right there. You get yourself into this, you can get yourself bloody well out of it. I only do favours for my friends. Friends? Friends? You call this bunch of tweet knicker, shortbread nibbling banshees friends? I will have a few more friends than you appear to have. Vans here, Mary. Go on, on your way. I'm 45, you know. I'll try and behave like it. Not exactly at home to Dr. Irony, was it? <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, you're an awful boy. You know... I, I still remember the day you were born. Do you know that? <laughs> tell you, you were a difficult person. Oh, you were. Jeez, oh. You, you had to be dragged out. You had to be dragged out feet first. You didn't want to let go. Your mother's one of the few women with claw marks in her liver. 
And you need to say, I was an absent daddy because I was not. I was there. Yeah, I suffered. I suffered real anxiety and mother. So many men end up getting an epidural. <laughs> you know you was up? And now it's time. It's time for you to go. And well, so that's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a natural thing. Gives your mother and I a chance to get to know each other again. A chance to talk. A chance to bond. A chance to... Where the hell are you been? <laughs> I've been stuck in here in my jacks all night. I have been out with joy. And if you're going to use that tone of voice to me, then I will just turn my younger right back out again. What the hell are you waiting on? Oh, right. Come back, yes. Listen, we have got to talk. I've been married for 25 years. What have we got to talk about? Well, we better find something to talk about. Otherwise, we're never going to last to 26. Oh, is that a threat? Aye. Maybe. No. Because things have changed, Rab. There is a gaping big hole between you and me that two wains used to fill, and I think maybe you've got more to fear about that than I have. Of course I have. This is the voice of string-vested self-interest talking here. I know the score. I've read the script. Wains leave home, parents are thrown back in their own resources, except father hasn't got any resources. So he ends up cultivating a terminal disease to fill in the years between Kilroy and the Tea Time Regional News. I've been doing that path before. I know that, Rab. What are we going to do about you? How would it make you do? <laughs> you didn't even realise I'd finished, did you? I didn't realise you'd started. Good start, eh? See this? Come here, come here. Look at this. This is called the lovers. <laughs> you, d you don't exactly need three guesses to realise what they had in common. <laughs> blind date, right enough, eh? <laughs> and of course, the uh, blankets are hid there. Obviously, govern lovers waiting to be huckled into the chicky van. Because <laughs> some people will tell you that when we Magritte painted this, he was being symbolic. You're born in the dark, you die in the dark. Or that existential push, you know. <laughs> well, you don't really expect an argument from me, do you? All right, Mary Ann. You enjoying yourself? Which way's the tea bar? And answers that question. Mary! Oh, joy! Hello! <laughs> Mary, darling, we've missed you. Oh. We're just on our way to Zorba's. That's a restaurant, you know. Oh, Italian. No, Greek. <laughs> they do a folk night and a lovely three-course special for us oldies party rate. <laughs> I thought you might like to come. Oh, well, I need to ask Rab first. Oh. Rab, would you mind? On your way. All right, girls. <laughs> Like I was saying, despite it all, there's tenderness here. There's compassion. Note the, the trusting we tilt her head against his cheek, the wee protective arm round her waist. I mean, despite it all, this pair may end up going to the grave no wiser than when they left the womb. <laughs> but I'll tell you, see, see this boy here? See this boy here? He's got the right idea. Because see underneath that blanket, there is a dirty big smile on his fizzle. Because tonight, tonight, he's on a promise. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is, he doesn't realise it's all doing hell for here. I mean, I just, I just, I just feel my life is over, James. I mean, once, once you reach middle age, and the winds leave him, 
and your wife loses interest in you, I mean, what, what have you got left? Ex except your friends, Jim. Thank, thanks for listening, Jim. Thank, thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a couple in here looking for me, have you? You recognise them, they've owned bondage suits and a copy of the Radio Times. Only I'm supposed to. You haven't even listened to a word I've been saying, have you? Of course you have. You're going to top yourself. Eh, smart move, by the way. I mean, with death, the hours are long. But it's more fun than joining a bowling club, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I well, we're, we're all having to get your wide range of interests somewhere. I mean, what is with the rubber suit? Are you shagging dolphins now? Right, right, no. That's what I remember about you. Your sparkling sense of fun. <laughs> what? Here's Mr. and Mrs. Perf. See you. You don't believe me, do you? I'm, 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 I'm going to talk myself. Well, what am I, a agent? Well, see you in paradise. What are you bastards looking at? You don't believe me either, do you? Well, I'll show you. I'll show you, bitch. Have a good look, because this is the last thing Ribsy Nisbet will ever swallow. See you tomorrow then, Rob. See you tomorrow, Nora. <laughs> You enjoying yourself, Mary? Oh, I, I. <laughs> Mind you, the portions are a wee bit small with this Greek food, do they know? That's the dip, Mary. <laughs> I don't get it very much. Oh. <laughs> Mary, I've been meaning to say this to you, but... I love you, Mary. <laughs> and I love you too. Oh. As a friend. No, 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 no. I mean, I love you, Mary. <laughs> Didn't you realise it when I gave you that single red rose? Oh, oh. And it was awfully nice of you. But, well, I hope I didn't lead you on. I never realised you were all gay. No, we're not, Mary. Not real gays, no. No, it's just that... When you get to our age and you see the difference between the man you fancy and the men who fancy you. <laughs> it's just that need takes precedence over gender. I'm lonely, Mary. Give us a kiss, Mary. Mary? He's driving me radio rental. And his eyes keep following me around the room. Even when he's got his back to me. Which is a pretty neat trick, admittedly. And I know he's your brother. And your uncle. And your cousin, I know, but... The guy is seriously sinister. And in fact, when I... <laughs> Sexy boy! <laughs> Go, go, Pops! Go, go, Pops! You were well won! Ow! 
You're right, Rab. I've been selfish. We need to sit down and talk about this like mature adult people. You're right, Rab. We've both been selfish. We need to sit down and talk about this like mature adult people. <laughs> I'm right, Rab. You've been selfish. We need to sit down and talk about this like mature adult people. In the name of God, what's going on? Ah, just another routine psychotic harpoons a cretin incident. <laughs> no subtle plot twist or nothing like that. You're wrong, Rab. You've been selfish. Who the hell are you doing here? I need a bed for the night, Ma. It's my whole bunk still free. Think it could sleep too? Eh, uh, could you make that three? Come on. In the name of God, are we having dinner here or unblocking a drain? Aye. I never thought I'd pine for days when my jaws were wired together. Why are you jotting that light socket? I get any more of your snatch. Just eat the cake and shut it, would you? You're only so skinny, ain't it? Aye. The nerve we eyes. <laughs> Full circle. <coughs> you happy? No. You? No. Better just get on it, I say, man. Sounds fair to me. I love you because you understand, dear. Every little thing I try to do You're always there to lend a helping hand, dear But most of all I love you Cause you're you John met a critical stage in my career curve, as you can see. I'm working about here, clutching a carry-out bag, waiting to curse and swear at no one in particular. <laughs> Back to basics, you might say. In rock and roll terms, this is Rapsi's unplugged acoustic tour after the stadium rock of jail cell kickings and pub brawls. Why? I hear you ask, why? Well, I'll tell you why, you bum bum bum. But first, a spot of intimidation. Excuse me while I go into character. Hello. Hey, go on. You had to be more than passing my bastard at you. Go on, get me. I can be a bad big swine when I want to be. But there is a rational explanation for this irrational behaviour. How can I explain? I can't. So in the absence of cold logic, would you shout for another self-destructive act? You would? Excuse me. <laughs> Fairly self-destructive, I'm sure you'll agree. But what can I do? I am in the grip of a force far, far greater than I. Right, ma'am. 
Jimsy, you know. Well, you... Me and... Did you get that? Don't nag me, Mary. Don't nag you? You disappear for three days and turn up with a hidden in a Safeway bag and you accuse me of overreacting. You ran out of corn beef. What can I tell you? <laughs> hey, this heat's in better nick than yours at the minute, Dad. Hey, looks a bit like me. What do you think? Aye, except it's a wee bit fuller in the face than you. Yeah, you're quite cocky for a fat bird. I admire that. <laughs> You're a married man, mate. You should be looking for work. Oh, it smells great. What is for dinner? Pork? Pork? <laughs> Bridie hen, don't sit so near the fire. Your leg's cooking. <laughs> Gosh, after dinner, could we have a, a wee talk? What about? You know what about? Oh, aye. <laughs> aye, sure. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Ella? What? What's wrong? I wish I knew, Mary. It's Cotter. He's behaving bizarrely, even by his standards. I'm not coming down. I'm not coming down. I'm not asking you to come down. But if you're going to stay up, you get at least dust the bloody <laughs> well, He's been a bender for three days and appears to have taken up grave robbing, but apart from that, it's business as usual, no? Eh, uh, I think you need an update on that, Ma. Eh? Talk to me. Nobody talks to a table lamp unless they're completely up their heat. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, what do you think, Mark? Do you fancy a wee refreshment? Oh, I don't know, James. I'm still recovering after being refreshed out my skull for three days. You say cocktails, huh? For lethal the attraction to nutters like you and I. Maybe we should go back in the beer, James. Beer? Oh, aye, aye. Maybe we could also go back to wearing short trousers and smoking cinnamon sticks in the playground. Look, James, do you want to end up in that world up again? No! No. And I don't want a career as a table lamp. It took me four hours to get that flex out my ass. <laughs> Come on. I said, it's cocktail hour. Forget the chills, just hit the pills. Every night, for 79, it's cocktail hour with me, my dog. <laughs> On a scale of ten, how mad do you think he is? Ah, oh, kind of depends. Why you? An eight? I think his eyes just edge it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what are you for, Andrew? No, a cocktail, Rab. Anything but a cocktail. The, the last time I had one of his cocktails, I spent three days lying under the living room carpet, convinced I was a life insurance policy. <laughs> the sooner Maury comes back, the better. Where the hell is he, anyway? Enlightenment seminar training. That's why we're stuck with Tweedledum here. Only a rehab would be desperate enough to do relief in a dump like this. Now, we don't know he's been in the clink. Well, there's one way to find out. Hey, my dog. Where is he trying to be a barman? Broadmoor. That swings it for me. Hey, boys, don't be like that. So I murdered four people. Let's live and let live, eh? Hey, you're caught, Dory. I think we're looking at nine here. And besides, that's what I learned to fix cocktails. You call them cocktails? We call them Alka Pops for cycles. Believe it. Inside, that makes me some of the finest deranged minds in the country. Takes more than a few glugs of buck fast to ring the guys' bells. I work in the curtain block. Do you know that programme, Ready Steady Cook? Aye. Aye, well, yours was more like Ready Steady Smear Your Body with Pig's Blood and Run About the Exercise Yard Naked. <laughs> What's the matter? Channel 4, was it? I tell you, this killer's reached part of the human psyche. Heineken would need a vampire and a hellhound to find. <laughs> ah, but enough cosy nostalgia. 
Could you use one to drink, boys, eh? Eh, uh, four shandies. Shandies? Come on, guys, it's cocktail hour. He's only fair, are you? I mean, look at him. He's been in my cocktails all week. That's what I'm worried about. He's just 22. <laughs> he, this, is, this is Sandy's. I know you, Paul. You've got the look. The look? What look? The look that says that you're not fair to turn your eyeballs round and stare hard into the jaws of your very nature. The look that says that you're not fair to gaze on the mind-bending reality of your hidden desires. So what's it going to be? Shandy or a cocktail? Uh, cocktail. <laughs> and the rest is? See these hidden desires. Might that include, say, lap dancers and the occasional weather girl? He's your psyche partner. Hmm? Give me a cocktail. Boys? <laughs> no, no, no for me. Uh, once a man's been hoovered a few times, his values start to change. Uh, Dodie? <laughs> well, I've never been hoovered. But I did once covet my neighbour's ox, which was difficult because he didn't have an ox. <laughs> so I bought him one. <laughs> Smeared his mahuki with wild honey. <laughs> Sprinkled on some hundreds and thousands, get down on my knees. Easy, 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 big man, easy, easy. Your tablets are in your coat. Come on. Cheers, don't they? Hey. Just a one, then, Rob. I mean, one, one, the one's not going to do us any harm, is it? Hey. The look that sees it, you're not fair to turn your eyeballs around and stare hard into the jaws of your very nature. The look that says that you're not fear to gaze on the mind-bending reality of your hidden desires. Morning, Rap. Where are we? Bush ball, Rap. We've been getting our stomachs pumped. Cocktails. Cocktails, Rap. Has to stop. Oh, no. You fancy another one? Hi. <laughs> oh. Cocktails? You're addicted to cocktails? Aye. And if you start ripping a picture at me, I'm not going to kill you anymore. Oh, well, excuse me, Rob. I mean, it's hardly an everyday governor currents, is it? It's up there with silk grass and choking in an oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep pricing the prams. <sighs> but do I have to keep me on the blinkers? You know they help you to concentrate. <laughs> Sod off! Just don't start me, right? Just bring on one of my headaches. Oh, what headaches? Oh, don't let her get one of your headaches. How no? How? What happens? <laughs> Well, pretty much that since you asked. I'll kill you, Zoe. I'll kill you, Zoe, you bastard, so I will. You don't hate me because I'm fat. We don't hate you because you're fat. We hate you because you're ugly. Now, this is half crazy. If you went to crazy, I'll wait back your own house and one. Got me? Right. That's it. Your son is missing a nappa. <laughs> The doctor recommended therapy, but I suppose a chip pan's made immediate. <laughs> You're right. I'm doing my best, Mary. I'm doing my best. That's what I want to hear, Rob. Because this is a family crisis here. I'm not even a bloody family yet. Now, I want us to put our petty differences aside and start bonding, right? <laughs> Rob. Huh? I'm just saying, are you enjoying yourself? Oh, marvellous, man, marvellous. On my picnic, haven't had one of these in 20 years. I wonder why we'd waited so long to have another one. Probably because they're a heap of shite. <laughs> That's awesome. uh, what's in them? Cold turkey. <laughs> oh, delicious scent of humour, son. Remind me when that white rhino of a wife of yours comes back to make some preservation jokes. Aye, where is she anyway, son? Grazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's great to my scapegoat again, isn't it, Mary? Actually, she's tracking down baby clothes. 
I think our Wayne detector picked up the sound of a squeaky pram somewhere in Asia Minor and that threw her back into pining mood. Son, I can understand her being keen, but tell me this. Is she actually pregnant yet? Hey, oh, that's an our story. Hey, uh, Jamesy. What? We're all. Aye. But I'll have something to eat first. <laughs> That is mere like it. You're always counting James to give you a good laugh, eh, Ella? Aye. Sometimes it's even intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Time is everything comedy, isn't it? It's no use. It's no use. Well, it's no use. That four-foot rubber eel you call a backbone. Ella, I'm in hell here. Look at me. I'm sitting here entertaining you all with gusto and getting right tore in with a merry clips. But it's a sham. It's the tears of a clown. <laughs> no, James, it's the snivelling of a retard. <laughs> Can't you get me up there, for God's sake? I can't hear up. Rub him down. I'm clamming for a cocktail. Do you think I'm not clamming up for a cocktail at all? It's no easy to cold turkey, you know. Oh, get him! <laughs> because I will tell you this. This is the most difficult thing I have ever had to do, and I... I'd just like to thank my wife for her support here. Throwing this wonderful family picnic. Thanks, Rob. Which I am determined to enjoy. Even though family picnics bore the arse at me. So near and yet so far. All oh, right, so you're a hero. Now shut up and have a swally. I can't have a swally. A swally does not hit a spot for me anymore. It's hell, I tell you. It's hell. Look around you. Half a Glasgow punter's gone about their business. Look, look. Fresh faced young junkies mugging corn tourists. Look, look at this idiot. Jakey's, bloated, picking fights with three. <laughs> But I'll tell you, I will never give in my diction. Never. As long as I have the support of my family around me. What? What's alert? Go, Jimmy! Go! Go! <laughs> you junkie bastard! No, I trust it, you! Eh, uh, you're kind of laid back for a snatch victim, you know? My snatch is no victim, hen. <laughs> The bitch. The deceitful, unpleasant bitch. How much have you got, James? <laughs> 34 pence. Off a fig roll and an unused... Sorry, a used condom. <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay, just leave it to me, leave it to me. There you go, James. Two Broadmoor cocktails, 7 50 Have you got to your pair of tweezers? <laughs> no way, compadre. You know the code. No money, no fun, no pay, no play. Oh, come on, pal, we're desperate. Of course he's are desperate. It's your job to be desperate. You's are addicts. I supply, you get high. If this pub's too dear, I will and find somewhere less classy. Less classy than us? What, is the abattoir licensed? <laughs> I mean, where are we going to go on a budget of 84 pence and a set of bloody curvy grips? If I was let loose in the streets for one hour, I would have enough dosh to get absolutely stoned and have a week in Florida. How? What am I, Ego and Ronnie? Good shit, guide. Use your imagination. Hmm. Whatever happened to the old days, Rob? Used to get pissed, throw up, fall down, get scraped up off a gutter and delivered at the front door by the bin men in the early shift. There is no point in romanticising about the past, James. We've stepped out the, the Premier League of Alcohol into the Vauxhall Conference League of Drug Addiction. God alone knows where he fits in the cocktails. Look, Anderson, here come my tourists. Well, I think this is your most humiliating moment. No, James, I think that's about to happen. What if he's into threesomes, Rab? You'll not let me down, will you? 
I'll not let you do, James. Yeah, I'll not let you. I mean, obviously, I'll have to burn my willy off with a blowtorch. Yeah, but I'll not let you do. <gasps> Ask me up. Good looks can be a curse. <laughs> See you later. See you later, Jim. My ass clammed up that tight there. I'm going to be shaking pearls for a fortnight, you know what <laughs> I think we can honestly say we've finally touched the bottom. <laughs> Only touched it, Ab. I didn't even find a lot of spank at me, I slap it up, nothing. This is the worst moment of my life. I feel tainted. Can't you grab yourself, Jim? You're a government man, you were born tainted. Come on, look in the bright side. There's a bright side. Of, of course, there's a, I mean, look, you've been to AA. Haven't you? I mean, well, this is our all-time law, Jamesy, our all-time law. Brilliant! I... Rab, going to run the fine print past me again, because I'm struggling here. Well, this is the point where we realise how much we're going to throw away, we catch a grip of ourselves, go back to our families, and start on the road to recovery. Right. And do you swallow all that shit? No. No? Neither they are. So come on. Let's just go in with killing myself. Not hiding her here from in the last four days. I'm telling you, I can't go on like this. I'm worried sick. I know, Mary. I'm the same. I'm that choked. It's all I can do to shag the lodger. <laughs> Was that James's room? You can't agree forever, Mary. Now, what you've got to do is put that last 25 years of your life behind you and forget about it. Try watching The Simpsons or something. I'll be sure to give you a call when the body bags turn up. Cheerio. Aye. Cheers, Ella. Ha. Oh. Towel. I'm doing a whitewash the morning. These are coloured sheets. Gosh. It's nothing at all to worry about. I've read this happens to lots of men. Aye, for stroke victims and guys with horrible wasting diseases... Not for a young, fit dude like me. It's a pure humiliation, so it is. I know. I can't wait to tell the lasses in the rehab centre. <laughs> I'm only joking, Gash. Look, it's actually a positive thing. Because it tells me that you've got a tender, sensitive side to you. And that, well, that you're not just using women for your own selfish pleasure. Oh, thanks, Nat. No bother. So have you always been a poof, or is this a new thing? <laughs> Go to the kitchen and get a sandwich. We'll try standing over the oven. The hot air might help it. You all right, Si? No, don't ask. I wish my dad was here. You do? Aye. He's married. He knows what it's like to feel trapped, miserable, bored and unhappy. I flatter myself that I might have helped too, Si. You. you drink to escape reality. And I say, oh, I get it. I drink to increase reality. I drink to escape boredom, you know. <laughs> because once, once you're in your 40s, life's nothing but repetition, isn't it? <sighs> I mean, I, I, I want to live. That is why I drink. One thing about being in the gutter, you're never stuck for company, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy? Jim Jay! Jim Jay? Jim Jay! You needed me! And I wasn't there for you! Oh, bloody drugs! That is it! That is it! I do solemnly swear 
I'm Big Jehovah's Pringle Jumper. I will never quit drink or drugs again as long as I live. All right, all right, fair enough. I'm lying about the drink. <laughs> oh, God. What am I going to tell his widow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you find this funny, Ella. Oh, it's nothing personal, son. It's just that your auntie Ella's twisted. You know that. Oh, oh, I love to hear about young folk having marital problems, Mary. It's reassuring, you know, that misery cuts right through the age barriers, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm living testimony to that. A husband day ball for five days without so much as a... Rob? Mary... Hello. I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news. It's a bit Jimsy. All right, Ralph. Where are you from, my shiny brilliant? Me. You'll never guess what happened to me. Surprise me. Well, I went and got my side of the road, right? And there was this big animal grunting next to me. So I thought, I don't remember being up at Singles Club last night. <laughs> what? Turns out it's a deer. Been knocked down by a lorry or something, no, so being a good Samaritan, I battered its brains out with an iron blue bottle, right? Pumps it on my shooter, thumbs a lift up with a slaughterhouse in a comfy down variant, sells it for ready money. Crazy guy, eh? Oh, aye. Crazy guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, you. That's enough. I'm not in any more of your scumball behaviour in my pub. Oh, aye, you, you've been the, the, the fine upstanding citizen that you are, you, you drug-dealing, modern bastard. Allegedly. <laughs> you claim... Get up, stick a heat on him. <laughs> Still pressing charges, though. Sorry, Mary Hen. Looks like as if I'm away on one of my extended business trips again. Oh. I think positive, Rab. I'd none in for your tea anyway. <laughs> You'll find, son, that these unexpected separations can add a wee bit of sparkle to our marriage. In fact, when... Gash? Gash, is that you? Are you coming to bed? You should see what I've got on. And then the shepherdess outfit again. Have you been peeking? <laughs> now you're quite cocky for a fat bird. I admire that. It's a liberty, Ella. Ten days for nothing a serial killer. I know. It's a sick world, Mary. The truth means nothing. There's no such thing as honour anymore. In fact... Yeah. Just... Call you later, Mary. What? Are you cheating on me? Am I what? How can you see a terrible thing like that? Easy. There's a guy's legs sticking out from under the bed. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> How big are you? Six foot two... Fourteen stone. Me, eh. I'm going for a wee walk via Huddersfield. Could you be away by the time I get back? Fair enough. Jamesy, listen. It's quite all right, Ella. The clues were always there. Right from our wedding day when I caught you asking the priest to delete the phrase forsaking all others from our wedding vows. Cut to the point, James. If what is it you want? There's only one thing I need for you, Ella. The usual? Aye. Saves a couple of Polaroids, will you? <laughs> what is it with you guys? I can't leave these for four lousy weeks without the place degenerating into a violent, sleazy drug den. Drug den? Ah, the golden month. Hey, and I. For a brief instant, we tottered in the brink of fashion. Irvin Welsh could have wrote a book about us. Now we're back to being middle-aged, drunken stereotypes. All because he runs a clean and tidy pub. Swine! Hi, Nori, we missed you. I've got to 
to look at a new family as a fresh start, Rob. No a hindrance. And you've got to admit, it's nice having a couple of lassies around the house, isn't it? Don't kill the lily, Mary. We're talking water buffaloes and leggings here. <laughs> I mean, the most important thing is gas is happening. There is a wee bugger anyway. There's something that has to see you. All right, Ma. Da. I'm sorry I'm late, but, eh... Uh, got to be an announcement to make. I'm got to be a feather. Oh! <laughs> oh, great news, son. What does Natalie think? Well, she's no too chuffed, actually. In fact, she's up sticks and left me. Left you? But Natalie was desperate to have a win. Aye. But I think she'd have preferred one of her own. <laughs> you? It wasn't my fault. He sneaked into my bed when my back was turned. I just assumed it was my dad. Oh, what do you mean? I'm going to send it. In law, in law. Can I have mother for a cocktail, Mary? Well, you better get in the queue. I hint me. Cup of tea, Rob. Oh, cup of tea, Mary. <laughs> Blanket or your head, Rob. Blanket or your head, Mary. Just like old times, eh, Rob? A family again, Mary. A family again. This is a moment of destiny in the history of the British nation. And as a Scottish nationalist, it's to my bitter regret that the question of complete independence is not in the government's agenda. Because everywhere I go, the ordinary people of this country are stopping me in the street to ask, Alec, when will Caledonia be free? And I have to say to them... We're nutters, it's true. We're selling carpets and we're mental. Crazy Willie's Carpet Asylum. Come today, bring the family Mom. just off the M8. Don't forget the kids now. See the wireless? It's just like your brain, isn't it? Things go scudding in and out without so much as a buyer leave. But words, well, words is just a loose change of human emotion, isn't it? Be your feelings, boy. <laughs> your feelings is the family silver. And I will tell you, I have feelings that'll stay with me to the grave. Do you know how? I'm sensitive. <laughs> oh, shit face. What? I'm just saying I'm a sensitive big bastard. <laughs> right, disagree with me. Got a fight going here. What do you want a fight for? Well, I'm bored and the telly's push. <laughs> and besides... That's how scum like us communicate, isn't it? Escape a sight half our senses by having a pummeling match. When in doubt, punch somebody out. It's a bit early in the day for the genial self-parody, is it? No, Rab. Now, do you mind? I'm busy here. What are you doing, anyway? What in my hat for Royal Ascot? What does it look like? But that's a cowboy hat. I know. I'm riding trigger in the first race. Now, would you give me peace? What are you doing with a cowboy hat? Oh, hey! Stick it in your nap, I'll give a swatch. Go on, let's see what it looks Leave like. Leave me alone, Rob. <laughs> oh, kid sensitive. Back off. Are you talking to me? No, this is talking to you. Are you going to listen to it? Or would you prefer to have a face like a burst bag of plums? Should, should you know be away at your bullet class or something? I'm only asking what's going on here. Don't. Just turn around and walk out of this house. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. 
So I'll be back. <laughs> See, woman, you haven't half come on since the quaint old rolling pin at the door days, eh? You know what I'm saying? A cowgirl, you say, Rab? <laughs> she's, got, she's got a station, she's got a boots, a gun, a lot! I tell you, I'm getting all the benefit of the doubt and putting it down to the menopause. What a lunch up for the chimney with a waxing line, you know! <laughs> That's very funny, Rab. <laughs> you never laugh at my jokes. You've got two expressions. Poker up the arse and hot poker up the arse. <laughs> Get on. Ah, please. Here you go. You've done it again, you never call me Rab. What is cooking here? First my wife turns into Wyatt Earp, now you're treating me like Frisky the Clown. What's going on? Hey? There's something to do with this booze cruise, isn't it? You just don't want me to come, that's it, isn't it? How could you? How could you? After all I've done for the vomit industry, I mean, drink this, my life! Prick me, do I not bleed? Shake me, do I not spurt? <laughs> Just give me one good reason. Just give me one good reason why I am not asked on this booze cruise. Because you just rip the piss at us. That kind of... You mean three fingers are buck fast and a packet of cheesy gloves. Coming right up, Zeke. Zeke? That's your a Zeke, pa. Rab, when I wear this hat, I change my identity. And I become Zeke Montrell out of Missouri. Out of Missouri? Out of bloody Rampton, mere like. What the hell is going on here? Andra, show him. I hate to fire the gun that shoots you down, Rab, but... Ta-da! I see. I get it, that's it, is it? And who else is going to be floating down the Rio Grande with a yellow dose of Texas? Yep. Almost with hat. Say, yup. Yup. Oh, we were too late for that last one. Do you think us in for the next man, Mike? Well, Jamesy, what do you think? Did you just walk down the street like that? No, we wore our packer, Max. Hi, this is Govan. I mean, happy colours are inflammatory. Well, <laughs> I don't want you to take this personally, but you're a sarcastic pain in the ass and everybody hates you. But that is the only reason we didn't invite you, am I right, cowpokes? Yup! Listen, Davy Brown's minding the bar for the weekend, so there's a ticket spare. Which is reckon. All right, all right, you can come, but in one condition. That you make an arse of yourself at the rest of us. Oh, I will, Mary, I will. You'll be proud of how big an arse I can make of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, whereabouts in the Wild West are we headed, then? Melbourne! <laughs> A quiet answer, I've no money booked. You couldn't! Take a swash down there, man! <laughs> Tell of me. Excuse me, could we have. Excuse me, could we have. Excuse me! How can a woman not get served at a bar? Because we're too shy in retiring, Mary. Oh, Pete Bogman! Have you still got that rash in your champer? <laughs> I've got your attention, to you. Two bodies in line and two super laggers, please. Believe you be merry. The weekend starts here. It's in this bar that all the icon. Oh my god. What is it? So that guy for the collecting agency, is it? Check if he's got a baseball bat. Oh, Mary. It's Joe. <gasps> Hella. It's all right, Mary. I'm over it now. <laughs> I can see that. Steady now. So what's with a sudden interest in all things C and W? I thought C and A was mere York and a spell. What can I tell you, Rab? 
I'm a man of varied interests, no? What, sex and drink? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if there is a new, challenging and mind-expanding way of getting your knack king while stood in the pitch, <laughs> I'm willing to get a whack. Excuse me, I'm trying to make eye contact here. Well, you can start with me. I've got eye. See you later. I'll think I'm in love. This is it, boys. Millport. Dolphin babies, and there's a rhinestone chunky needles, and there's your machine washable blankets on the ground, dries in minutes, and there's your peanut butter and banana Elvis Willies, and there's your fancy plain martyr kit. Oh, pal, which for the blind dolphin baby? Well, I normally rent bicycles, but pays to know your public. I'll have a baby, son. I'll be five pound, missus, and I'll uh, get it back by six o'clock. That's when its mother gets at the drugs rehab class, no? No, boy. I've had three miscarriages, an abortion and a nervous breakdown. I've lived the Hank Williams songbook, so I have. You want to try living a few Jane Fonda workout videos? <laughs> I mean, then you wouldn't need to buy your leggings for NASA. You know what I'm saying? You're no exactly a people person, are you? <laughs> well, that's my spite wound up. One more thing we've had to tell them a few swallies, eh? <clears throat> Where is my hotel, by the way? Moon. <laughs> it is a teepee. What do you want for a fiver? Anyway, look at the bright side. There's lots of teepees. It's practically a reservation. Moon. Rob, help me! Help me! It's that Andra. He was getting on my tits. Stop it! You got him up. All I did was rub his brown sheet. <laughs> <laughs> we can make a comedy double act. You already are, you pair of sad bastards. Where's Calamity Jane and Katie Elder? Rob, Jamesy. Why did he do that? The birds. This time the morning I'll have central heat and a three-piece sphere in there. Well, <laughs> oh, you ready for the offer? What? Oh, no, you just go on ahead. I'm waiting in Ella to get ready. Hurry up, Bella. Oh, my stomach's in a knot, Mary. What am I going to do if I see Joe? Don't grab on his ankles the way you did the last time. <laughs> Tends to blow your cool. Yeah, I'll throw back a bit in the blusher, will you? You're wearing mere war paint and cochise. Preemptive strike, Mary. If he even speaks to me, I'll have a heed like a who's lamp in May time. I can't remember what happened the last time. My tea of makeup hides the scars, Mary. Inside. Oh, come on, let's just go and enjoy ourselves. This is a one street town, Ella. But it's one hell of a street. Yes! Come <laughs> <laughs> on! What do you reckon? Buffalo Bill's Wild West Saloon or Tommy's Tombstone Tavern? Where are Rab and James are going? Tommy's. Bill's it as well. Hello! You just want to worship at the altar of your being or jumping or bones or something, don't you? Very poetic. I think maybe uh, Lash LaRue there would have something to say about that, you know. Yeah. Doesn't he look all that good to me? I think I could outdraw him in a fair gunfight.
On the other hand, I could just sneak up behind him and hit me a brick, you know? <laughs> Yo. I keep a close watch on this part of mine. She's got something, hasn't she? Aye, a brass neck and brain cells. Oh, come on, live and let live. Now, we promised not to be judgmental this weekend, didn't we? Do I sense a vested interest coming on here, Ella? If you're talking about Joe, I'm relaxed about that. I, I couldn't care less if I saw him again or no. And you, I'm seeing that knowing so well that he's up there at the bar. Don't you go running after him, Ella. Think I'm daft? Because if you do, he's going to get the wrong idea. He's going to think that all he has to do is snap his fingers and you'll come running to him. Ella? Ella? Well, howdy, ma'am. Long time no see, Ella. No long enough, some might say. It doesn't matter what they say. It's what you say that counts. And what do you say? As as a as a <laughs> Shit ram. <laughs> oh, rab, rab, rab. What's your boy Disney go doing one of the holes? It's quite me, quite me and Jim. I'm tripod, yeah. I'm tripod. Okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I've hung up the back. Hold <laughs> up. Okay. <laughs> How come you can see pop, but your boys never moved? <laughs> is, is, is that a fire one? Is that is a fire one? Come on then. Come on then. Come ahead, you have battles in the air. Go. We are no here to fight. Look at you. No dignity. Now, if you'll excuse me, there is a fragrant young lady I am eager to ride. Why, <laughs> yes, I don't want you, I don't need you, God. There's always some hooligan who spoils it for the decent ones, isn't there? Well, he did say he'd make an arse of himself. And he's certainly been as good as his word. Hey, Nesbitt. Smile. <laughs> I'm coming, Mummy. I'm coming. A holiday? Brilliant! What's a holiday? Oh, it's you. I've got ten pound come through in a wee endowment. Means we can maybe manage away for a week. This will be the first good thing that's happened to us. Well, no counting father dying, but isn't it great to have... What? Sitting in a caravan, in the drizzle, watching your ma get pushed? It's not exactly fun in Acapulco, is it? Oh, be fair, Rob. Ma's no had a drink for weeks. No since our... accident. Thanks, son. The doctor says if... If we can maybe get away for a wee while, maybe give me my confidence back. Oh, look. I got some sannies out of the charity shop. Do you like them? Aye, brilliant. <laughs> take the laces after them and don't let her sniff the blanco. She might take a relapse. Oh, God knows I only want to trust life. But this time, I think I might be on the road back. Oh, this is a game, isn't it? This is brilliant. I've not felt like this since I was a wee lassie. Yes! Reach, quick! More something to happen is that tell us something dismal. Uh, the war's escalating in Vietnam, Mo. The Yanks are going to send in more troops. Are they going via Milford? No. Then it's all one to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, here's the bus. Where's Rab? Rab! Relax! I'm coming. What the hell are you doing in there? Can you be seeing Q for a bus to Melfort, kiddie? There might be bugs. Shut it, you! Oh, stop it, you pair. We're on our holidays! Hello! I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry, Caleb. I mean, we've got to be mature. I know some of these things, haven't we? Absolutely. <laughs> and that means there are certain things you've just got to... Well, you've just got to live with. I mean, let's face it. Some things end, but they never... They never finish, you know what I'm saying? With respect, I'm hanging a tongue sheet. I'm in good pity, I'm swing. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm for the saloon. What about yourself? No, I think I'll see what's left of my liver. For the band dance tomorrow night. And I'll just bounce his way up the road. To <laughs> yourself. We'll see you. Hey, ma'am. I couldn't help noticing you were pushed and swinging at the bar, so I thought I might just... Try your luck. Well, this is called the last chance saloon, isn't it? And that is what that bastard over there is on. See her? That's his ex-wife. She's had three wins, a prolapse, and more face work than a colliery, and he still can't tear himself away from her. What do you make of him? The guy's an obvious swine. The thing is, I can't help but admire him for it. It's like I was saying. The guy is an obvious, decent swine. I remember I was doing session work in Nashville and the king said to me, Jamesy! The king? You're not going to give me that old line, are you? What old line? Oh, about how you once worked with Elvis. If I've heard that once... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, that king. No, this was a different, other king. This was King Billy. <laughs> and his Orange County defenders of the Crystal Chandelier. It was that king. Anyway, he says to me, James, he says, some things can finish, but they never end. That's very true. Can you buy me a drink, James? My pleasure, ma'am. Double tequila. Oh, Clint. A single tequila and six aspirins. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't want. I didn't want to come here. I didn't want to come here. It, was, it wasn't my fault. Too many memories. Too many memories. <laughs> Are you sure there's not been some mistake? Not on my part, missus. On yours. That's your caravan there. Oh. <laughs> what? I thought that was outside toilet for that one. What's the matter, Rab? A holiday's a holiday. Mister, how much? One week's rental, eight pounds. Eight. Gas not included, all breakages to be paid for. Oh, well, better just make the best of it, eh? Make the best of it? That's your family motto. Wheel. I'm no living in a baked bean tin on wheels. A one main window, two pounds. How much is left in the purse, Mammy? Two pound. Nothing left to live on. Tough luck, missus. If I were you, I'd teach that yin his place. Just a minute, mister. Before you go, could I maybe take one wee look inside? And the door creaked open. And 
door slammed shut. I'm sorry, Mammy. I'm sorry. Don't talk, Grab. Please, just don't talk, eh? Sorry, missus. No drinking in the bus. Stop this line dancing, isn't it? Think so. Q magazine says it's ultra cool this month. All right. On the other hand, you've got to be broad-minded, haven't you? <laughs> Where you are, pretentious bag of shit that you are! Come yourself, car. Thanks a wee bit of the old bitch couldn't be it. Well, this is actually a Texas stoke lamp, but seen your vast elf. Just crouch this one out. See you later. See yourself. This is not a kind of dancing, Ella. Not so much hip hop as hip hop racing. I'm sorry to go home. I'm not going home. You're what? I'm leaving. Start a new life. Wait, Joe. Oh, you heard that bloke called Jamesy Carter? You have that young called Grey Friars Bobby. You never meet him on the pet cemetery. You don't get caught up my dick. He messed me with a woman. I'm afraid the bastard I've got to kill him. <laughs> James is no here. He, he's up at the mental institution visiting his aged parents and that right now. That's, that's correct. That's quite correct. It's a silver lunacy anniversary, actually. <laughs> uh, 25 year man. Having a wee bit of a coma party up a day room. In actual fact, if you... Uh, who the hell is that? Damn it. <laughs> It's like a stampede, isn't it? And they say that condition's a thing in the past. What condition? Mad cowboy disease. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Joe, by the way. Hi, Jim. Hi. was a bookies runner for Peasley as well. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's impossible he was standing on his jack. Who are we, Mulder and Scully? Don't tell us, tell Rab. See when you get right into it. It's not the present that does you in. It's the past. It's the amount of baggage we're carrying, I'm surprised this wee boat's making such good time. Of the QE2 in front of us as a tug. Hey, nice bit. What do you think of this? A wee souvenir from Millport. What do you make of it? Millport? Don't you Millport me, boy. 
Millport is in our country. They do things differently here. Oh, well. Business as usual. The night's tea. Can I get to go with chips? Hamburgers. 24 big value hamburgers, only 99p. <laughs> only? One. Govern hamburgers can damage your health. <laughs> I think I'm basically disguise the taste. Oh, spring on you, Chris. That'll do the trick. Hello? Hi, all right, all right, Rab, I'm coming, I'm coming. Eh? Yes? Over and out. <laughs> uh, excuse me, missus, do you know if this Jimmy Dye lives around here? Oh, no, son, I'm sorry, I couldn't. Eh? Is that your final word, then? It's my body. It's a woman's right to choose. But you didn't choose pregnancy. Pregnancy chose us. We're in this thing together, remember? Well, that's just quite right. That's a rough area. There's no gear on my wife around here. Like, you a bouncer. If you want to win, she should be her one. Anyway, it's no you that's going to have the bringing up yet, is it? Oh, well, isn't it, Mr. PC? He can't even be bothered opening his eyes when he's lolling back planning my life. I see things much better with my eyes shut. Anyhow, it's post postmodern. It's no PC to be PC anymore, is it? <laughs> Yet again, I have outflanked you with my superior logic. Where's that Evan Mother of yours? I want my tea before I hit the pub. You were saying about the joy of parenthood. Hello? She's where? I'll be right there. I will string you up and gut you like a kipper if you don't shut up, Pronto! The cat moved! He's in there! Right, Mr. Nesbitt. Now, your wife's just been through a most stressful ordeal and it'll require your utmost tact in the medium and long term if you're to help your wife get through this. Is your name Billy Smart? No. Well, stop talking to me like as if I'm Ollie the bloody elephant. <laughs> I'm, I'm, here to, I'm here to collect my wife's and get your arse out my face and back above your neck again, where it belongs. <laughs> All right, Mary Doe. Wee cup of tea, Mary. Wee cup of tea, Rab. 
Was ist das? Da war ich aber holen, John. I'll kill him! I'll kill him! Easy, darling. Steady the buffs. Anybody would think it was you who was attacked no more. I'm sorry, Mary. It's just the man I think about it. The man I feel it's not just you that's been violated. It's me that's been violated as well, you know. Well, he got a bloody sight more than he bargained for if he tried to put his hand in your drawers, that's for sure. Take his hand in your drawers. I don't want to talk about it. She's had a hard enough team, da. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mary, I'm sorry. I'm not asking you to talk about it. I'm no, no asking you to talk about it. I'm, I'm just asking you to tell me everything. I mean, there's a, there's a difference, you know. What for? What good would it do? Well, it would be, it would be cathartic. It wouldn't it be, be, be cathartic because you can watch her like you want, you watch her and you see opera and all that. And that's, that's how she come like us. You would sit, you wouldn't like, we all sit down and, and we bond. And then, then you get up, you see, and you, you vomit your emotions into your TV times. And, well, it's, it's a cleansing thing, Mary. That's, I mean, that's it. I'm just, I'm just asking you to cleanse yourself. Sorry, Mary. Sorry, Mary. That, that, that didn't come out the right way. You want to listen to yourself now and again, because you don't have a scooby-doo what women go through. Shut up! Your dad doesn't have a clue. At least his feelings are honest. Repellent, but honest. It's not enough that one animal cheats me like dirt. Now I've got to fight you two for the right to own my own experience. I mean, who the hell do you think these are? The right to own your own experience? What the hell can I talk at that? <laughs> I mean, this is, this is real life here, is it? No, this is real. We're not talking a chat show here. I mean, do, do, I look, do I look like Esther Ranson? You're ugly enough. And if I said that, I'd be sexist. No, if you said that, you'd be witty. Oh, hello. I'd like to arrange an abortion, please. Do you take Provident? <laughs> Mary, 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 As far away from men as I can get. Mary! Mary! I'm telling you, there's too many of these perverts around. We want to keep this town safe for respectable people. Well, that rules you then, didn't it? Do you mind getting interrupting a meeting at a Tufty Club here? <laughs> I'd expect that for you. You don't care if a pervert moves next door to you. You don't care if our wings get molested. If your wings are as ugly as you are, relax. You've got nothing to worry about. It's just as well for you we are no violent women. Aye, you are. You did three years for assault. Our boy's a dealer. Our man got life for running a teacher through a mincer. Aye. But at least they're no perverts. So is it true about Mary, then? What about Mary? Well, from what I hear, there was a free kick in the edge of the box, Donnelly Dummy Glass and Glass. What was it, Sal, Rab? Tell me again, Lord. No bother, Rab. Listen, Rab, I've been meaning to say hell of a sorry to hear about Mary. Me too, Rab. Me and the boys have just got it. So what exactly happened, Rab? Well, there's not much to tell. The boys stopped her, asked for directions, built her into her clothes and... told her. God, I'd hate to think of some guy with my Stella. I me too. I mean, I get queasy if somebody just sits in my toilet seat, but my wife getting... All right, all right! Easy, Rob. I'll bring you drinks now, all right? Rob? What? Can I ask you something? Hey. Did I disgust you? What? How can you even bring yourself to think a question like that, Mary? Easy. You've come to bed with your suit on. <laughs> Imagine that. <me so. laughs> See my memory this weather. What are my life? <laughs> all right, all right, I'll buy that. Now, what about the welding gloves? Expecting a government contract for refitting your pyjamas or something? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I admit it. I'm having trouble coming to terms with my feelings. Oh, you could try coming to terms with mine. Cos right now I've got feelings coursing through my body that Claire Rayner hasn't even got names for. So you can just get your bloody arse out of this bed and have a think about your attitudes, boy. Because right now my feelings could eat your feelings and still have what's left of your backbone for a pudding. So go on, bugger off. Well, you don't mean that, Mary. Out! Oh, 
Good enough. I have been caught in possession of a dodgy set of feelings. I mean, I wish I could be noble. I mean, it's not just her that's been violated. My dear heart has been violated. I mean, I put that woman, I put her on a pedestal. And I'll tell you, it wasn't easy to get that fat ass up there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a religious man, but I worshipped at the altar of my wife's body. I did. And do you know why? Because it was mine. I mean, I don't have a house, a fancy car or nothing. I had a woman, low mileage, one careful owner. Then some dirty bastard breaks in here and takes her for a joyride. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! Rushing it a bit, aren't you? Even in government, you usually get some courtship before they start sitting in your face. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was having a rest before I go to my work. I've got a wee part-time job. Up the hot dog stand. At this time of night? You got many customers? Oh, they come and go. <laughs> what about yourself? You still in spouse alert like me? Oh, you worry. Oh, you worry. I, I know my wife. She'll be in there right now, pacing up and down. I don't know if she's been too hasty. Yeah. Then I'll be knock at the door and she'll come creeping in here to say she's sorry. Oh, you still here? Sod off! Governor equivalent after eight months, you know. <laughs> At times like these, you realise who your friends is, let me tell you. What bammy bastard's that at this time of the night? Rab! I wonder what he wants. Has he got a loaf and a pint of milk with him? Aye. That means it's a dire emergency and he's flinging himself on us. His best friends is a last desperate resort. What'll I do? Bolt the door, lock the window and come to bed. Are you Rab's best pal? Ah, right. On second thoughts, hurl a pail of shite or him, then lock the window and come to bed. Sometimes I just don't understand you. Ella! <laughs> Might I remind you we're in the middle of something here? After all, him and I's been through during the years. Well, it would, it would count for something. I mean, I've read Cosmopolitan. You're supposed to be as close to your mate as your, your wife, for God's sake. Oh, what is the matter with me? What is the matter with a world? Back when I met Mary, times were different. And my memory might be playing tricks on me, but... Jings, but it's a bra life being a doctor, isn't it, Alec? Aye, Lachlan, healing the sick, making a comfortable yet unobtrusive living. Nothing vulgar, Alec. Nothing vulgar, Lachlan, God forbid. And most of all, being respected by honest-to-goodness poor folk. Thank you very much for healing me, doctor. A war with your plucky tenement woman. It was only a wee bit thorn stuck in your paw. Or a shame. Can I kiss the hem of your raiment, please? I warned in a fash yourself, and tell that husband of yours not to drink so much. My husband's dead, sir. Then he's no excuses. Awah! <laughs> All the same, Eric, I detect worrying fault lines in the sociological profile of our society. You mean all yon hippie nonsense? Do not worry, Lachlan. Yon will never reach Caledonia. God, what happened to him? Gang fight, Doctor. Two squads of govern hippies were having a right square go at one another. He's a leader off. See what I mean, Eric? Uh, uh, it wasn't in my fault, by the way. I, we were just having an argument about who was the most peaceful. Next thing you know, a fight breaks out. Knives flash and all Nirvana broke loose. Get him through to casualty. It was then that it happened. I knew that I had to do something, so I plumped for some govern coquettishness. (laughs) 
And it is your work phone number. I'm sorry, I don't have a pen. Be my guest. Govan, three, four, eight, seven. <laughs> well, we started dating. Really but you know women, emotional impresarios, they no sooner discover you than they're trying to reinvent you. That's brilliant, isn't it, man? Imagine them putting a man on the moon, man. I bet you they couldn't fit one behind the wheel of a corporation bus, Mel and Wanson, I know. Ah, don't move me. No, I'm cool enough. Especially when I sniffed beaver in the vicinity. How are you, boy? No, no thanks, Ram. We've got some LSD in for our tea tonight. Uh, come round later and expand your consciousness, if you like. I need to keep my from Nana tonight. I'm going out with a bird later, you know. You've got a bird? Lucky bastard. Aye. But we get to transcend the material world and manifest our spiritual essence in an all-embracing union with the cosmos. Sure, sure, but it doesn't beat lounging in a settee with your digit up a gusset. True. <laughs> Especially if it's somebody else's gusset. You're still launching that fat-ass bunt. Ah. You mean the one that gives you the note back? Huh. Best thing I ever did. Robert! Robert! Told you I could smell beaver, didn't I? Oh, thank God I caught you. Guess what, Robert? Great news. My boss's wife's had a heart attack and he gave us his two tickets for Dave D. Josie Beaky Mitten Tits. If we go now, we'll be in time. Come on. I can't, I'm going up to Maryland with Jamesy. Oh, Jamesy will no mind. You can go up to Maryland any time. Here's a bush trap, what do you say? Is your horror or me? Deal's a deal, huh? I kind of like my pal, did we would mind it up. Fair enough. You know what you can do well, don't you? Hi, you know what you can do and all? I certainly do. Jamesy, you want to come? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, gee, Robert. Have a Harlem shuffle for me. <laughs> Divorce this week, I could be back with a tea set and a toaster. <laughs> All the best. Hello, pal, looking for business? Uh, you'd have to give me a written estimate. Be an insurance job, you know. <laughs> I think I made a friend there. Tell you what, I could murder for a dose house. Excuse me, Hen, I'm looking for... Business, sure, it's 50 pence for tea, coffee and lovely hot dogs. I still can't take us in. You don't know what you meant when you said your customers come and go. It was for your own good. I was trying to protect you from the wicked ways of the world. I'm not a kid, you know. That's my point. At your age, the shot could have gave you a stroke. It's bad enough watching you eat a fish supper with both sides of your face working without having to tie a nose bag to your ears. Well, that's not going to time. Where did you buy your trainers? Butter. No further questions. And if you'll excuse me, I'm a working mother in the making. I can't believe this. A pregnant woman on the sky. Do you know what that makes my son? A pimp? I know. I'm getting him dreadlocks and a white BMW for his Christmas. They just you keep your gap zip we gassed you here. You mean he doesn't know? I'll be packing this in just as soon as I've enough dodge to buy a new pram. My secret horror's that it's triplets and I have to work until I'm 70. <laughs> you got a bed for the night? I don't want your charity, I don't want your charity. Here's your charity. Here's a spare key to my dad's new gaff. Try and be quiet, he'll be in his pit. I still don't get this. Three days ago. You didn't want this way. Now you're out in the game for it. 
What changed your mind? That's my business. If you'd changed yours, you might still have a wife and a roof. Now mind and be quiet, my dad's elderly like yourself, no. Oh. What? 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 What's that you're saying, Mary? Uh, you're what? You're what? Oh! I oh, can't you have a baby. I know. That's the wonder of me. What's the problem? But a baby would hate me. I mean, I hate me. You hate me. You've got all your in. Sing me with me. Love. For God's sake, keep your voice to This is Glasgow. They think you're a poop if you fall in love with a woman round here. <laughs> Can you not get rid of it? I'd sooner get rid of you. You wouldn't. Try me. <laughs> In that case, there's only one thing for it. Oh, I what's that? Mary Reagan, will you marry me? Do you want to dance? Do <laughs> 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 the say, eh? There's nothing like a good night's kick for getting your troubles into perspective, eh? I mean, you go to sleep singing the Leonard Cohen songbook and you wake up giving it New York State of Mind. <laughs> there he is! Help me! Hi, Rob. I see you've met the neighbours. Go on, Mary. I want you to open up. What was it you were saying about Rab again? I was just saying, James, that underneath it all, I thought I'd married a man that loved and supported me. Oh, he cares about some cell. Looks like I'm going to be breaking in the first cliché of the new millennium, eh? My husband doesn't understand me. Just don't lump all men together, Mary. I mean, I'm a feminist myself, you know. I understand women. Well, I should have shagged hundreds of years. <laughs> James, this is no time for jokes. Oh. Jokes? <laughs> is that you, Mary Hen? Aye, uh, just one more drink. That'll be me, eh? Uh. Drink isn't the answer, Mary. It's not even the question, Ella, I know that. But right now, the only sleeping pill that works for me is prescribed by Dr Buckfast. Cheers. Cheers. Mary. Phone him. Eh? Hello? Mrs Nesbitt, WPC Boyle. We've been trying everywhere for you. I wonder if you could pop in, please. There's someone we'd like you to take a look at. Yeah, there you go, Rob. It's a funny old world and no mistake, huh? Uh, certainly has in your kids, Dan. She was a squirry uh, pervert or what? Rob, they look like a pervert. Uh, looks are no guarantee these days, are they? I mean, look at me. I've got a mind like a sewer, but to the world, I'm Mr. Chuckles, your local fat happy bastard. <laughs> no, I misunderstand it, Rob. You want to know the truth? I was stitched up by an ex-lover. She was jealous when I traded her in. You know what women are like. <laughs> Do I know just? <laughs> Actually, I don't. I think that's half my trouble. Ah, there he is. Right, here's the plan. We stove his head in, humanely, with a brick. And then, just before he dies, we force him to forgive us. 
That way they'll be no irritating problems later on with conscience, bloody pervert. I bet he's no a pervert. I bet he's a paedophile. I'll bet he's worse than a paedophile. I bet he voted no, no at the devolution referendum. <laughs> Let's get him! <laughs> like it, Rob. God, it's a laboratory. <laughs> Goodbye, Kitty. Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Pops is coming, son. Cocoa Pops is coming. Mrs. Nesbitt, is that him? Aye, that's him, all right. Apart from the horns, the tail, and the glowing red eyes. What? Nah, <laughs> Ned. Who's that, William? His mother. Poor woman. Is it all right if I get him now? Well, will there be someone there waiting for you? <laughs> Touching a bit of a sore point near him, but I'll be all right. Mrs Nesbitt, your husband's here. Ella, tell me you were up a pig drop. <laughs> oh, thanks, pal. I don't mean to sound patronising there, you know. You have pushed it right to the edge this time, Rab Nesbitt. If it was me that fell off, and I am doing my best... To pull myself back up again now. Come on. You gotta use a horn. Well, I must be a right mug. Shit. I thought you hadn't noticed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. Uh, large body, please, Nori. Celebration time, eh, kid? What are you hoping for? Well, judging by its lineage, anything you don't have to milk or throw a saddle over will be a bonus. <laughs> 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 No, no, I don't mind what it is, as long as it's normal. Hey, oh, my tab, nor you. Normal? That leaves a fair margin for error in here, eh? All right, sis. I hear congratulations in order. Aye, the leaf's in order, may like it. The blood tastes were negative. That's why I'm having it. If you need a ride down the bottom line, there is no bottom line. We kid ourselves on more rational beings, but what we really are... It's open winds on legs. See if you want to stay rational. Take a tip for me. Don't love. Because see if you do. One wee dunk for the cloven hoof of fate, I'll send you squealing like a stuck pig. Let's face it. Who wants to shag a hunter with a back bacon? <laughs> In a kind of perverse way. It was a compliment to her that I should be such a petulant, angry, selfish bastard. I mean, she should thank me for that, you know. Mind you, it's no a theory I'm willing to put to the test. I don't fancy my balls getting served up in a cocktail stick with my next pint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, mate. That's how we cuddle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Ab. Don't think we're ready for that yet, do you? No, yeah, I suppose no. Come on, let's go up the road. Mrs Nisbet, you know Stein? The karaoke will be starting soon. No, you're all right, Hen. Wayne's, eh? You don't know what's in front of them. If only you knew what was behind us. Come on, now. Oh! oh. <laughs> Out.
Robert Nesbitt. How oh, by me, eh? You're charged with being drunk and disorderly for the 23rd time. I have studied your past with interest, Nesbitt. You are a worthless and destructive creature. And if you have a single redeeming feature, I have yet to find it. Well, if you have any luck, he's a shout. You're lucky I don't send you to prison. But it costs the taxpayer £300 a week to keep trash like you inside. What are you moaning about? I don't want to be outside doing six hundred pounds worth of criminal damage. <laughs> it's Nisbet's half price sale. It kill me while it stops last. Prison is obviously no deterrent to you. Instead, you'll do two hundred hours worth of two hundred hours worth of what? Flying lessons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to suspend court business. Meanwhile, we just learned that. Govern's Edith Piaf is dead. Oh, two... Two hundred years worth of what? Community service. You? That's why I say so. Community service, I says. I'll be about as much good to the community as cow pie at a Hindu wedding, you know. <laughs> Oh, we stop. We st There's a bad bit, Mary Lou. Now, we understand the accident happened at the start of a sellout concert at Govan's Elder Park. What details do we have, Linda? Very few at the present. It seems she was being lowered onto the stage dressed as a wounded sparrow or pea hen when suddenly the winch gave way, sending her plummeting through the staging. And what was the crowd's reaction? Well, at first they cheered, of course, thinking it was part of her engines. But there was an eerie silence as groans were heard and feathers started to flutter up through the hole in the staging. And that's all we have at present. Linda, thanks for that. Mary Lou Devine, the govern chanteuse who has died. <laughs> and there'll be a special tribute later on in the programme. She rose from the gutter, but she knew such turmoil. <laughs> There, of course, the infighting, the backstabbing, the weight problems. She was Govins of Vita. Weight problem? She was Govins Rai Vita there. Rai Vita! What has life done to me, you so bitter? What has life done to me? You see this coupon here? You see it? You did not ask for this coupon, boy. I did not. When I was a fetus, I distinctly remember seeing a box marked for Zogs and sticking my horn in for the rich of gear model. And surprise, surprise, some dirty middle-class bastard beat me to it. Funnily enough, I think it was Richard Gear. Well, I end up with a face like an ass stoting about Govan. And then, in the he's in Tinseltown shagging bloody Sunday crop. Bitter, bitter, you do not know the half of it, but you don't know the half of it. Oh, Richard, it's for you. Who is it? It's the community. They're wondering if you could start serving them tomorrow morning at nine o'clock sharp. Community? Community service? I'll serve them all right. I'll give them 200 years worth of bastard and we'll bail them never forget. Hello. <sighs> Mrs Maxwell, can I introduce you to Rob, who's been tidying their garden for you? I'm 84, you know. Oh, I thought that. It's not really worth your while going on, is it? That is why I have prepared you this. Oh, that's right. Oh, you have been as well. I know what you're up to, friend, but you won't beat us. We are a humanitarian council, and we will reconstruct you into a caring individual, whether we need to use a set of pliers and a power drill to do it. Savvy? Reconstruct me? Excuse me, senor. I am but a humble peasant. Working on the land. Reconstruct me. Well, that'd be new labour talk for the Desertelter will keep your gyro. Not to be confused with evil bloody doctrine. Desertelter will keep your gyro. Just fill in the hole, smart ass. <laughs> this day, new labour's replacement for clause four. <laughs> Oh, no, she's a pint. Oh! Sorry, Nesbitt, just 
Reading about this Mary Lou business makes you realise if she can die, anybody can die. What is she dying? Dehydration. Must have been a customer of yours, eh? Compassion fatigue's never going to be one of your problems, is it? I save my compassion for the living, no for the deed. Now, hook up the swally afore I sympathise your brain in. <laughs> what have we used, boys? Hope you have no going overboard about this deed pop star shit, eh? How can you say that? She was Govan's brightest star. Evita, why? Why? <laughs> Pack it a cheesy hula hoop, please, Nori. See, as my mark of respect. I'm not going to pay my gas bill. <laughs> what about you, wee man? As a mark of respect, I'm going to burn a candle. If I can't find a candle, I'm going to thieve a power card out the all-night garage. <laughs> what about you, Ram? I'm away for a pish. Another fine tribute. Yeah, yeah. Now, what I'm saying is that once we get our independence, we'll all be better off. Losing a sister, Mary. I know how much you loved her work, Ella. Her music spoke for the people of Govan. In great songs like Don't Cry for Me, or I'll Boot Your Head In. <laughs> Stand by your manslaughterer. <laughs> the rendition. It's my favourite. Chips with violence. <laughs> Mary. Easy, Ella. Take strength for Mary Lou's life. She touched so many. She did, Mary. That's what I want to do with my life. Show compassion for others. Her rubber spine! You paralysed! So if I had a rubber spine, I would be, wouldn't I? Nothing else. Oh, I'm out of concrete mixture. I'm geared now again. Oh, oh, wait, Shivdy, here's the local news. in the morning. Finally, the funeral of Mary Lou Devine will take place on Friday. Hundreds are expected to line the route to Govan Crematorium. And now the weather. Gale force winds knock down three cows on the air. Night. This is yours? Aye. I can have thought it might be. Is this no a wee bit extraneous, gardening on the land that time forgot? I mean, should we no start off by giving them a few necessities, like the wheel or double glazing that doesn't come from a safe way? Relax, Mr. Nicholls. This is Rob. He's going to uh, tidy your lawn for you. Ah, and then uh, you're going to get a free makeover from Sainsbury. <laughs> he a uh, nice new wrinkle-free bag, you know. <laughs> No, I only wear this to frighten these bad boys out there. Yeah. See, the thing is, I can be anybody I like with this bag in my head. But underneath, it's really just me. Uh, a frightening enough concept, if you ask me. Well, I'll just leave you two to get acquainted, will I? Ah. Ah, oh, come on in and have a cup of tea. Ah. I was feared he was going to say that. Come on then, I'll, I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> I don't get many visitors, but as a matter of fact, you must be the first since a bit. Uh... You all right? Something been lobbing tear gas in here, what's coming? What do you mean? I was wrong to the subtle tang of ammonia as the next man, but... The same. The same there. My underwear. But you, you, you're saying you, you can smell them. I can practically taste them. I tell you, there must, there must be some stink coming out of you, boy. There must be upstage the stink coming out of me. Uh, offended you, none other. Oh, no, no, no you're, you're all right, pal. You're all right. If I can take that for the bad boys, I can take it off of you. No, nothing ever gets me down, pal. I can see that. <laughs> you look all dead, you're for the home help or some man. No, uh, now, come on, now, come on, watch it, watch it. 
I'll swing it, yeah. Don't you try it. You come into my house, insulting my house. And then you tell me I'm too feeble to be able to look after myself. Who do you think you are? Eh, just who the hell do you think you are? Well, I could tell you I'm here to give you the dad's doorstep challenge. I'm here to give you the most fat that you are. I'm here to get it, girl. Right? So just get out my face and let me garden. What about your tea? Oh, just stick some milk and two sugars in that pot there. It only tastes the bloody same. Get the hell out of my house. All right, all right, I'm going. I wouldn't want to take up any more of your precious time. I mean, I'm sure you have many pressing social engagements. I mean, there's a bus shelter up the road there that needs stinking out. Maybe you could squeeze in a couple of telephone boxes. And if you really stink hard, you can maybe manage the, the local library before luncheon. Hey, how? I'm going. I never thought I'd actually say this, but I'm actually quite enjoying digging this garden. You know? <laughs> the way I see it is if I can get a wee herbaceous bother going, maybe stick in a few hardy annuals, maybe even a trellis. Oh, Connie, shut up, Rab. I'm trying to watch the Mary Lou tribute here. Mary Lou took the values of Nashville and started what came to be known as country and west of Scotland. These were truly her golden years. Yeah, before the drink and the drugs took their toll there. Aye, her life was touched by tragedy. That's how we can all identify with her. Just as well her life wasn't touched by happiness, eh? We'd all be sitting here scratching our heads. Rab, no disrespect, but going to shut your stupid, ignorant mouth. We're trying to grieve here. Wish, what's my song? Dear as I stabbed you in the head. You ever get a feeling you're out of step with life? It's queer the things you get up to when you're feeling trapped, isn't it? Rob a bank, wreck a hotel room, work. <laughs> that ain't fair. Hope he's all right in there. Ain't you? Be a hideous sight if he was in there having a top rank to the late night film in Channel 4. <laughs> Oh, pretty hell. You wouldn't have shared with a duck, would you? <laughs> oh, in the name! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Say something, say something, my God, say, come on! I don't want to have to slap you. I don't want to have to touch you anymore than I have to. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, thank God for that. I'll tell you. See, if he needed a kiss of life, it was history. History. <laughs> oh, come on, get me here. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about the... Uh... Stop in your window, by the way. That's all right. 
I don't want to see her. Just so long as these bad boys can't see her, you know what I mean? You're not exactly a ye share in the great hymn book of life, are you? Oh, and, and you are, I suppose. <laughs> I didn't know optimism was compulsory, even under a Blair government. <laughs> your tea all right? Aye, hey. What's your catch? You pissed on it. <laughs> You're just like me, you know. You don't trust me. <laughs> you kidding? You and I was an embryo. I paid a solicitor a search fee before I got in my mother's womb. <laughs> What's your story? You're sitting next to it. That's my story. That's how I'm like this today. What happened? Ah, it's no worth talking about. Just a, a typical West of Scotland love story, you know what I mean? Husband goes out to work, comes back to find his wife administering oral sex to his best friend. <laughs> and the shock triggers an apoplectic seizure in the wife, causing her to bite off the man's willy. <laughs> so in the meantime, husband's away at the other end there. Stolen in his best friend's head with a chip pie. <laughs> so then he turns round to find that the wife has choked on the willy. <laughs> oh, so the wains are taken into care. Husband decides to top himself. Unfortunately, the pills are all past their sell by date. And all they can top is hoof along. And a kidney. So, 20 years in sheltered housing later, here we both are. What you say? Typical West of Scotland love story, eh? The garden's doing well, isn't it? Ah, I suppose it is, really. Cheers. <laughs> what do you make here? It's as if the entire audience are Ricky Lake, Esther and neighbours has downed them all controls and spewed out onto the street. Look at them, Margaret. The best it was... She was only four foot six. This old Gadoon is one of the few times in history where the circus has run away to join the midget. <laughs> Mind you, there's no half some needy bastards in the world, isn't there? With that, the cortege made its way to the tree-lined crematorium, which was the last resting place of Mary Lou Devine. Now, sport. Hey, don't listen to that. The diddies from Dundee. to see it's all over. But if you turn that telly off, there'll be a dangerous five-minute gap of reality to fill between the funeral coverage ending and the start of the Scottish parliamentary elections. Right, and we'd be forced to communicate with each other using words in that. Although it brought his heart. What, no sighs or grunts? Uh, you get an exemption. You can stamp your hoof and grunt. Come on, it's only five minutes. Surely you can think of something to do for five minutes. All oh, right enough. Is that new book still taped to the system in the lobby? Right. <laughs> Forget it. Right, well, conversation it is. Right, um. Andra, how's your wife? I don't know. Dodie, how's my wife? I don't know. Didn't she commit suicide? No, I'd have noticed. We'd, we'd have run out of milk. You see, you can't have a decent conversation if Rab's no about If he's no here... Rab! Is this a Mary Lou free zone? Come on in, Nes, but they're not a stiff in sight. Eh, uh, you speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, it's nice to see the joint back to normal again. Well, relatively speaking, you understand. What's with a fancy dress? 
Should you not be standing on a mantelpiece with a gas bill stuck behind your dress for <laughs> Lucky guy, you <laughs> Dory, give the boy a crabbies. Crabbies? Ginger wine, mate, grab. Scottish Parliament special. Short breed? Oh, that's it, that's it. This is, this is all about a few Scottish MPs. Come on. It's a joke, isn't it? It's a joke. Behind you. Behind you. <laughs> what are you on about? It's a pantomime, isn't it? It's a bloody pantomime, for God's sake. Pantomime? This is Caledonia's future you are talking about. Aye. I'm with James you on this one. You start to mock Scotland, you've gone a step too far. Aye. Aye. Mock? Caledonia? Me? <laughs> Come on. Are we all in Geordie comes to town now? All I'm saying is, we shouldn't have blind ourselves with, with ginger wine and bloody shortbread. If we do that, we'll lose sight of the real bloody issue, won't we? Which is? The Labour government wants rid of us. Garbage. Anyway, it wasn't just Tony Blair that said we should have our own parliament. Sean Connery said it too. Aye, and we've got a lot in common with Big Sean. Aye, many of you pay tax. <laughs> All I'm saying is just fishy telly. And now we begin our build up to the historic Scottish parliamentary elections. Freedom! 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 Later on, we'll be reminding ourselves of the ramifications of the West Lothian question. Sod the West Lothian question. We want to bear our asses to the enemy. But we'll begin with a ten point look at the Barnet formula, under which the allocations of funds. Sod the Barnet formula! Give us run right! Our dolls! Freedom! 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 Oh, that demolition's brilliant! You can do indecent exposure, call it a political gesture! No! Oh, carry on, oh, carry on. Mind you, you can't blame them, Mother Sam. I mean, it, it's shameful the way the media keep trying to drag politics into politics, you know. There you go, eh? <laughs> What do you think? Very nice. Very nice? Ah, it's, it's very nice. Crush bread is very nice. Jill Dando is very nice. I put my heart and soul into this here. Come on. Hit me with some emotion here. Come on inside. I've got something for you. I hope it's oxygen. Were you, were you burgled by a team of sarcastic cleaners? <laughs> oh, you shame me into this. I used to hear you grafting away out there. And now I'd be sitting my arse in here, just feeling sorry for myself. I used to be a hard-working man myself, you know, at one time. Just look you. Oh, well, there's, there's no money has left, and that's a fact. Uh-huh. <laughs> <coughs> oh, what's up to you, eh? Uh, uh, I, I'm not a poof, mind you. No, 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 no I'm, I'm, I'm not a poof either. Oh. Mind you, sometimes I think it would be better if we were. Might, might find it easier to say thank you without feeling we were sucking a bag of lemons. <laughs> well, I suppose we're stuck with what we are. Life goes on, and on, and on. That's it, my good boys, I think. Come oh, on, you! Come on! Get him! Come on! Get him! Get him! <laughs> Sorry about that, pal. Right, bad wee bastards. Oh, you're all right, you're all right. <laughs> Business as usual, eh? Ah, ah. Well, 
Cheerio. Ah, hi. Cheerio. Queer thing about us jogs, isn't it? You think about the amount of cringing national defeats that we've suffered would be kind of au fait about expression and motion. <laughs> but I suppose there's only one way for us, isn't there? Yeah, I thought maybe put a wee space in the middle, you know. Want a wee rose bush? <laughs> in the garden centre, I'll not miss a few cottons, will I? And then the smell of the blooms will go up past his window, maybe cancel the smell coming through his oaksters, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trained, man. Oh, sorry, Rab. Just know myself these days. There's a big empty gap in my life since Mary Lou was laid to rest. I'm here. Oh, don't rub it in. <laughs> you see, her dying seemed to bring everybody closer together. I seem to care more, to share more, to communicate more. Yeah, but that's oh, the... zip your gap. I'm talking here. <laughs> anyway, I just realised that if only more well-loved performers could die in freak accidents, the world would be a happier place. Oh, Ma, that's the flower in Scotland on the election special. Oh, right, I'll get the milk chain the Kleenex. A flower of Scotland. Well, we see your light Middle age. Too young for a bowling green, too old for ecstasy. The only positive thing I can say about it is I've managed to avoid some of the worst manifestations like the uh, James Can stroke Tom Jones hairline. You know that kind of frizzy effect makes it look as if they've been too near the gas fire when they lit it. Well, that's just sad. There's nothing wrong with being older. Happens to us all. It's a wholesome, natural thing. Dory, you're the biggest leaner and tweezer that patient's strong but who has ass, would you? Don't get tetsy, I was just saying. Well, don't just say. Aging's a touchy subject. Aye, it's all right for you standing there with your fancy arms and legs and things. And hips. Don't forget hips, you hippie bastard. You're right, boys. I'm coming out of the closet. I'm in shape. There, I've said it. I'm tired of biting my pillar. He's winning. Hit him with a chair, Rab. Oh, I'm doing here, I'm doing here. It's all downtime already. Rab, on all his hand. Oh. He was standing up. Now he's lying down. Not much of a plot, I admit. Oh, that was wrong. Oh, worry, 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 worry. Oh, God, this is how the cancer started. Cancer? Go oh, again. Get up, Rab. Sequels are boring. I can't get up. I'm stuck. The floor's not that sticky. I washed it this morning. It's my back. It's my back. What's up with him? Says it's his back. What happened? Unaccustomed exercise. 
You should try putting your hand in your pocket occasionally. Because I did it, I was reaching for my doors at the time. I'm in agony, you know what? Give me him. Give me him. Oh, come on, give us a hand. You're his pals. You're his wife. You shag him. What do we get with that? Well, you shag him, well. Shag him? Never. Well, no, unless I'd eat pints and then he had a better offer. Hang on there, Nesbitt. I've rung a taxi. A taxi? Who the hell am I going to get a taxi? I'm flat my back. Never stopped you in the past. Come on. Oh, 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 Aye, creates havoc with your life. Mind, there are pluses. Play your cards right, you don't have to dip your wife for months. Any sex? Oh, all right, all right. Interesting. See you when we see you, Rab. Don't you believe it? I'll be in here tomorrow night. Business as usual. That's a game, Rab. What a man. Dopey bastard. When you see him in here, I guarantee you had a bed sore hour. Come on, Jamesy, put us out of our misery. What is it you've got in the bag? That? You are such innocence. <laughs> well, Mr Nesbitt, we have the results of your X-ray here. Now, it's not as clear or enhanced a profile of your condition as might be yielded by an MRI scan. That's magnetic resonance imaging. But we've enough information to venture a likely diagnosis or prognosis. And oh, I just cut a sheet. What have I got? <laughs> In short, a prolapse. Is that, is that not a woman thing? Paul, oh, were you rumbling through my pockets when that X-ray machine was going? I had your since you were wearing your trousers at the time. That was my fine satirical point, you mutton-faced doble, yeah. Don't start with me. It is not my fault that you have got a back that rattles like a Japanese wind chime, is it? Look, please, if I may. You've a misalignment between your first and your second vertebrae. Is that at the top of the spine? No, at the foot. Oh, I might have known it. I might have known it. Bottom of the bloody pile as usual. <laughs> is there any good news? Well, that is the good news. In that position, around 90% of cases can correct themselves with time, say a few months. Months? Or well, perhaps a year. It's really just down to luck. Oh, well, that throws me out, didn't it? Luck, dear God. Take a look, take a swatch of this one's cool. That's how lucky I've got in a great lottery of life, man. Now, I'll give you some caproximol and diclofenac. That's anti-inflammatories and painkillers. Now, you might get the odd wee blockage as a side effect, but they should give you some peace. Could you add a sock to that prescription, Doctor, so I could shove it in his gub and then I could get some peace as well? Excuse my dear wife, Doctor. She is an ignorant walloper. <laughs> this trouble is an agonising complaint. You'll need to take things sensibly. My middle name, Chief. No heavy lifting. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Man, where's that new kitchen extension, eh, Mary? And, of course, no alcohol. Well, <laughs> you're on strong painkillers. No alcohol, I'm sorry. That is it. That is it, you blown it, you, you bastard. You're beginning to prick up there after a shite start. Please forgive my husband, Doctor. He's a bad-tempered pishwipe that should have been flushed at death. He means no harm. Too shame, eh? Too shame. I'll get you that in. Come on. All right, cheerio. Hello? Hmm? It's not good. Hey. No, I fill up the pipe with tobacco and uh, the mask keeps the smoke in my eyes. <laughs> oh, very good. Eh? No, no, seriously, though, I love snorkeling myself. Where'd you go to the Algarve? The Algarve? We... No, I don't like that pub. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll see you. Eh?
are nicked. Fuck you, pervy bastard. <laughs> James Aaron Cotter. In this day and age, crimes such as yours are particularly seedy and unattractive. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's not a compliment, ma'am. <laughs> but I will dignify something as slimy and pathetic as you in such a one. Remind me of your last job, Cotter. It, uh, it was in the media business, sir. Oh, yes. You had a paper round when you were 15. <laughs> it's your wife I feel sorry for. She's promised to stand by you. God knows why. And in view of that, I won't be sending you to prison, provided... Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I was dreading that. I'm just too pretty. I'd have a shock like a wind tunnel in no time, sir. Thank you, sir. Provided you take the appropriate counselling. Now... Out of my sight. <laughs> Terrible thing I have to cope with, Ella. How are you getting on? I'm trying my best, Mary. But it's no easy. Every time he comes near me, I flinch. I feel my flesh crawl. Even the sound of his whining voice disgusts me. Business as usual, then, eh? Mary! Mary! All oh, right, Rab, I'm coming, I'm coming! Believe me, Ella, I know what you're going through. Does not make him day. We're stuck with him. No, me, Mary. I'll stand by him, but we're no joined at the hip. Or anywhere else for that matter. Ella? Him I know? Remember that stripogram we hired for Isaac Quinlan's gas bill testimonial? <laughs> the young guy came as a kinky spy. James Bondage? Oh, he was gorgeous. <laughs> but more important than that, Mary, he knows how to treat a woman. It's like court and oil again. We walk in the park. Sip cappuccino. And every time he meets me, he brings me some wee silly gift. Oh, Ella. Are you still de your ears with a set of curvy grips or what? All right, Rab, I'm coming. I better go, Mary. Don't want to be late. <laughs> that was last week's wee gift. <laughs> well, he's no a total proof. Cheerio, Mary. Cheerio, Ella. Rab, what is it? Get rid of these socks. Holy mastermind and escaped to the bloody twin tub. All oh, right. Here, I hope you're not thinking about going down to the pub. Remember what the doctor said? I am not thinking about going to the pub, but if I was thinking about going to the pub, it'd be none of your bloody business. Now just go on with your job. Aww. Oh. Empty that pole while you're at it. Oh, all right. And bring me my prescription, OK? Uh, OK. Chanel, eh? When we were young, you always wore Cote and Lamour. James, eh? What are you doing here? Just getting back from my counselling classes, uh, collect my prescription, you know. What, three love bites to be taken between meals? No, it's a... Uh, don't laugh. Prozac. Who's laughing? Snap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first laugh I've had for weeks. It hasn't been chemically induced. Leave you bugger off your bard. What? You can't get a bath from a chemist. It's your own fault. If you can't hold your methadone, you shouldn't drink it. <laughs> Speaking of the gutter, how's Rab? Don't ask. How's Hela? Don't ask. Do you want a cup of tea? Aye. Well, we've obviously nothing much about it to see each other, eh? <laughs> That's the thing about being married, eh? You learn how to give good silence. I'll get up, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you dirty bastard. <laughs> You know, save some swine with the invent. Self tying shoes for us. Spinely challenge, Keith, you know. Us with the mobility of the average standard lamp. They made a bloody fortune, so they would. I mean, let's face it. 
I was much chance of pulling Cindy Crawford here as I have a pulling on my socks. <laughs> like I say, if you've got to suffer for something, you appreciate it more, then you? And on that basis, this pint is going to taste like God's own homebrew. <laughs> 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 This place is fair changed, eh, Jamesy? What has not he? Mary, mind we used to sit in here all night, your chair eating a bottle of aspirins. Mind what we used to call ourselves? Dr. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> it's changed, eh? We have. Some people say the secret of a good marriage is always tell the truth. I think the trick is to avoid the truth. Absolutely. Folks start dragging truth into marriages, the divorce courts will be full in no time. Mind you, keeping a marriage gone isn't it? always the same thing as keeping it alive, is it? That's very profound, Jamesy. Are you pissed? <laughs> I suppose you've been through it yourself lately. Well, let's just say, pain recognises pain. Oh. That's Cash's mobile. He didn't volunteer work as a drugs baron now. Oh, no. This is his old one. Cash gave it to me when he vowed he'd give up the drugs for good. So what's he doing now? Oh, he's a consciousness alteration administrator. Him and Bridie are working out a flat in Pollock. I've got an Alsatian dog in closed circuit television. <laughs> Hello? Don't allow me, you gallivant gubbin legs of y'all. Get your ass to your pronto. Cos if you don't, I'll take your... Oh! Oh! Oh, I know, I know. I'm not exactly being the stoic, cheery type of it. <laughs> oh, God, the poor bitch, I'm going to have to make it up yet. You all right, Rob? You looking for a taxi? <laughs> well, now you come to mention it. I am presently considering tenders for the job of conveying my fat-ass homeward. Yes! Well, as long as you're not too fussy. <laughs> all right, Andrew. How's the way? <laughs> come away and have a look, Mary. <laughs> oh, he's getting big. He certainly is. What's his name again? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Vengeance. As you will very soon discover. Oh, thanks very much for coming round, Doctor. No problem, Mr Nesbitt. I had another couple of calls in the area. Now, you say this attack hit you as you were strolling to the park. Uh, the park bar? Zip it, darling. <laughs> yes, I was strolling in the park. When the next thing you know, my ass is in the grubber. <laughs> I've got a pain up my crevice like a flaming spear. Well, any oddness in sensation should be noted, but it may be just constipation. Are your bowels working? Funny you should say that, Doctor, but for some time now I feel as if I have been playing host to Howard Hughes. How do you mean? Well, uh, how can I put this? He's happy to stand on the doorstep and autograph my gusset, but he will not come out and paddle in the portrait. Would you try a suppository? I would try a torpedo if I thought I could get it in. I'll get it in. And you're managing to stay off the alcohol. Huh? Button it, honey bunch. Yes, I can honestly say that I have not set foot in a pub since this unfortunate accident occurred. Well then, why don't we see if we can give nature a helping hand? I'm telling you, it's the best sex I've ever had in my life. It's elemental. We stagger about his flat, him wearing me like a tool bag. <gasps> Honest to God, I squeeze him that hard that he's wearing his nipples and both cheeks. <laughs> you seem to be really going for it this time, Ella. Gone for it, Mary. <laughs> I'm having to use chapstick in my drawers. <laughs> I've got to face it. I'm a hormone junkie, and that's that. <laughs> Probably Jamesy. Me and Jamesy have run out of puff. I mean, we should have never married in the first place. It's the old story. He says potato, 
You see potato? You see tomato? I see stick your tomatoes up your arse, you don't know what you're you are. <laughs> Ach, it's nobody's fault, Mary. See, I need somebody stimulating, intelligent, and hung like a church bell pool. <laughs> and James, eh, well, I've always felt he needed somebody like you, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> My life's going to change, Mary. I know it. And if you hurt somebody along the way, well, it's them or you. That's the rules of the game, isn't it? <laughs> well, I better split. Jimbo's taking me up his fitness club for some pre-sex sex and a sauna. <laughs> what about yourself? Oh, my social diary's full as well, Ella. I'm going up the chemist to get Rabbi's suppositories. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's no glam and governy, despite what they say. True enough. <laughs> All right, Jamesy, what are you reading? 20,000 muffs under the sea? <laughs> Have you fun, boys? I deserve it. If you must know, it's a book of love poetry. Love poetry? You? What the hell's going on, Jamesy? Look, have you seen... I've got my scarf. <laughs> So that's it, is it? You're going to show her Wordsworth's daffodils with one hand and slip her eight inches of blank verse with the other. What do you reckon, Dodie? Will it work? You never know. I hear she's very moist between the sonnets. You'll never change, will you? You just don't get it! Neither will you where Mary's concerned. I'll say you, Norrie. Know, I don't know. Change is in the air. I haven't seen Nesbitt for a week. That's one for the Book of Revelations. Isn't it? Stole one. On, on a week's approval. <laughs> I just had to hear your voice again. Mary. Jamesy, don't. Please, Mary, listen. I've wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. It, go, it goes like this. <clears throat> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake. The darling buds or make up Budweiser's <laughs> of me. And summer's lease hath too short a day. <laughs> oh. Oh. With a song in my heart. <laughs> When you take a suppository, God, you imagine I can abase Niagara Falls as a result. <laughs> see when that damn bus, see when that damn bus, it's like, it's like giving bus to a fully formed pottery vase. All you can go, I can hold you and have a stick to your feet, jokes in it, stick it through there on the sideboard for you, you know. Just a wee minute, Rabbi. <laughs> so long as men can breathe and eyes can see. So long lives this, and this gives life to the. I mean, I know it's no up to Mary Max Fun Parade, but it says what I want to say, Mary. Because what I want to say is. Honest to God, see, that is a giant redwood a long time there. I mean, see if you were to slice it through the middle, I'll probably have aged things. In fact, come on, come on, we smack. Come on, stop. Come on, come on, smash it. And then maybe I'll do another and give you something to keep your bingo pens in it. Stop! Stop! Yeah, I love you. I've always loved you. I can't he help that. I love you. Mary! Mary! Oh! Would you look at that! 
I had a wee orphan sock left over from last week's wife. And now, I'm for its twin. <laughs> it's at times like these you think you're working for UNICEF. As a pussy girl. This day in the week's wise, you know. And that is not all, folks. I worked away way out for the bugger's own. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you think here? Oh, oh, wait, see, see, wait, see. Uh, oh, put that in there. There you go, eh? <laughs> what do you think of that? Okay, okay, I mean, I know, I know it's not like finding a cure for cancer or nothing, but, well, when you come from my social class, you tend to take your ego massage where you can find it. I used to get it over there. At the bottom of a pint glass. <laughs> oh, bugger it. Drinks therapy, innit? it? I mean, it's a well-known medical fact that alcohol relaxes the muscles. You relaxed enough yet, Rab? I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, Doddy. <laughs> Season another couple of glasses of that relaxation, Andrew. Ready when you are, Rab. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Must be the only pub in Glasgow with a life belt in the first aid box. Is that you then, Rab? Why, yes. Thank you, Anna. Now, I think a quick crawl to the chemist and then stay up the road to lie on the sofa and watch the listen while swarming my balls with a hairdryer. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, then. What a character, eh? <laughs> That's code for what a total prick am with you. <laughs> These Nesbitt spend a lot of time in their back one way or another, don't they? Here, pal. Got any spare change? No, I, le I left it in my other trousers and my yacht and my bear, you know. Near my bloody road. Use your carry out, you bastard. Oh, I hope they go, I tell you. Look. Prescription. Fewer calories. Even better. <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt, you're awake. Congratulations. It's no big deal. I've woken up several times in my life. Your operation's been a complete success. Operation? Well, operation. That kicking you got, uh, remember? Uh, it burst your prolapsed disc. We were able to admit you as an emergency and operate. Otherwise, you could have had to wait six months. Uh, by the way, you have a visitor. Mary. You're right, Rob. Well, I'd be for seeing you here. I've been a bad bastard to you, but I'm going to make it up to you. I promise. When got my clays and go way up the road, the fourth doctor in England there changes his mind. I just came in to see you were all right, Rab. I'm not going home. <laughs> you and Mary? Are you kidding? We seem to be sitting on the settee together in the throes of love. <laughs> I'd go with the obvious if I were you. You said you'd found somebody else, Ella. That you despise James, eh? And that you wouldn't make love to him if he's the last man on the planet? No offence, James, eh? None taken, Mary. In fact, it nearly adds to my satisfaction when I turn to my ex-partner and do this. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't love him, Ella. You don't even want him. I know fine well I don't want him. I don't want anybody else to get him. It's okay, Mary. I'll rise above it. I'll be mature. 
Well, I hail. I hope he's both die a syphilis, you shite faced losers. <laughs> All right, now. Right, all right, sir, please. Right, thanks a lot. Hello? I'd like police, fire, and symbolism, please. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. In sense, thought, I'll call back. 